in San Francisco at the Bay Area for SoCap, one of the world's largest convenings um, at the intersection of meaning and money. And today it's a real treat because we're here with Nancy Fund, who is currently the managing partner at DBL Investors, which we'll hear more about, and formerly was the managing director at JP Morgan, uh, running one of their venture capital funds. So you, so you went from big finance and transitioned into DBL investors, which is also playing, playing in pretty big markets and, and has an incredible portfolio. But can you tell us a little bit about what the difference is between now what you're doing with DBL investors and what you were doing with JP Morgan before? Well, it's been a journey. Um, I've, I've loved working with entrepreneurs my whole life, and so that's one of the reasons I went into venture capital. J.P. Morgan was a, you know, it's a big international bank, and it created a home for us, to, for our first fund, and always grateful to the people that supported this idea. And our idea is that you can make money, make great returns, at the same time that you drive social, economic, and environmental progress and that the two are not enemies, They're, one doesn't diminish the other, in fact, they enhance each other. That's, that's what double bottom line DBL uh, means to us. Uh, by the second fund, um, and we spun out in 2008 to raise our second fund, we really felt, you know, we know how to do this, we, can, we want to grow this, we want to nurture it, and we're so small that we don't mean that much to J.P. Morgan, and, and wouldn't it be fun to do it ourselves? I love what you're doing at DBL Investors. You focus on this peer synthesis between profit and impact, and you say that you don't need to sacrifice profit for impact. In fact, they can enhance one another, like you were saying. Um, I was hoping you could share with us just one or two examples of portfolio companies that really represent the epitome of that approach. Pandora, the digital music company, is one of our uh, one of our you know, great great successes, both yeah. financially and but its impact, I mean, it obviously has huge impact for musicians and, and connecting listeners to new music and the music they love and, mm -hmm. and doing it anywhere, anytime. But they, they're located in downtown Oakland, which has you know, challenges as an urban community. And what they've done for over four years now, which they don't, they don't do it to get credit, they do it because they, they want to and they enjoy it. Uh, they teach music at a, a local school that doesn't have a music budget in a, in a low-income section of Oakland, and it's informed the, the way that Pandora thinks about um, the younger audience. Uh, it's done all kinds of great things for the community and, 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 and for the business as well. When you think about your constituencies and, and more broadly and, and give back, yep. somehow you're, gonna, you're going to create goodwill. You're going to be able to use that. Mm, so it's not it's beyond fiduciary responsibility. It's human. It's environmental. Right, and, 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 and is wildly successful. I mean, I'd, I'd like to switch gears and actually ask a personal question. Sure. How, how do you balance family with, with these types and this level of, of audacity and ambition? Well, it's, I've always felt that you know, fa your children, your family is the most important creation, notwithstanding all the wonderful entrepreneurs and products that we, we help to create. Mm -hmm. It really is your responsibility to to stop working at the right time to take care of them. A portfolio companies, in many ways, is like a child. You start young, and you go through all the trials and tribulations, and then you launch them, uh, like you know, sending your kid to college. But I, I, the main message I would have is, is don't feel guilty about those moments where you're, you're stressed out and you're, you know, you're watching a piano recital while you're you know, reviewing a, a term sheet. Right. Recently, uh, one of my friends, she came to me and she said that she was changing her professional ambitions because she realized she wanted to have a family um, and that she didn't think she could do both. What, what, would you say to, what would you say to her in that situation? And there is another path, and you mm -hmm. can do both. Um, and in some ways, I think it's, it's a good role model for your kids. Absolutely. Uh, to see you working hard and having successes and failures and, and you know, coming back for more. So pick, pick the kinds of jobs that fit your priorities because they're out there. But you don't need to sacrifice. You don't need to. No. I, I don't want to be judgmental because no. a lot of people, you know, that's their choice and I, I respect that. No. But don't feel that uh, the two are at odds with each other. Hmm. I think you're a gleaming example of how <laughs> how they're not at odds with each other. Well, thank you so much, Nancy. I know that was quick, but it was really a pleasure to spend some time with you. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you.